I'm David Berlin with TechWeb TV. I'm coming to you from the Interop show floor in Las Vegas where we're having the Best of Interop contest. And one of the finalists here is Panduit. They've got a really cool patch panel infrastructure that's right behind me. And here to tell me a little bit about it is Mike Pula. He is with Panduit and he's going to tell us a little bit why this thing is so cool and deserving, by the way, of a Best of Interop finalist honor. Thanks, David. Uh, what we're actually showing here is a physical infrastructure manager system and our physical infrastructure manager panels are called PanView IQ. They allow basically the data center manager, the IT manager to locate and auto-locate devices on their network both from the switch point of view as well as the server or endpoint simply by going into the panel and being able to execute things like traces. I'm able to actually go through and find out location of port identity and that actually translates back to the software. Uh, the software is an integrated system which allows me to do topology, event management, report capabilities, and allow a full suite of capabilities for that IT manager. Okay, so what we're talking about here are really just intelligent patch panels. We've all seen patch panels and wiring closets and stuff like that. And at some point, it becomes a real rat's nest, right? You can't figure out which cable goes where. This is sort of the story of my basement, by the way. I would love to have one of these in my basement. And so with this, I can figure out very easily where these cables go from one hub or one patch panel to another? Absolutely. From the very point of the switch connection all the way through the panel out to the end point. So the important thing is... For those uh, IT managers that are commissioning or decommissioning systems, servers, uh, large appliances, uh, those type of things are mission critical devices. They can't afford to be down. So this is all about managing risk, all about managing mean time between failures and keeping that operational reliability as long as possible in between failures. Now what have you done to the actual patch panel to give it this sort of intelligence so that you can find out where the endpoints are, figure out which one's connected to another one, trace your routes and all that? Well, this is what's entirely unique. These patch panels themselves have got integrated intelligence modules. These cartridges here slap into the back of the, manual, of the panels themselves and provide the monitoring and the intelligence for all of the modularity on these panels. They help to light up the lights, give guidance to those people in remote areas. So again, if you're at a knock and you're able to actually be able to provide uh, uh, intelligent instructions rather than just an email, to that technician, they'll be able to see in no uncertain terms where things are located. Yeah, it's getting pretty close to what a router does. I mean, it's an intelligent patch panel. Can you actually read IP addresses off of the wire, or do you have to physically map them in some sort of software or something like that? We actually very intelligently map them. We read the, the MIB variables from the switch systems. they would be able to provide us the IP addresses, the MAC addresses of the devices connected to them. Through that, we have an intelligence capability that provides us the mapping of that logical layer to the physical layer. Do I have to walk up to the patch panel to get my job done, or can I somehow probe this and get information remotely on a PC or something like that? Absolutely. Anywhere in the world through the Internet, provided that you've got Internet capability, VPN access, you can use the physical infrastructure manager software to provide location information. You can even pull up the rack view of your equipment and see exactly where things are located. So show me how this works then. Well, from the software, if I'm pulling up the rack, here we have the rack over here at Interop. I'm pulling the system up. It's showing us exactly the patch panel, what's connected, what's not connected. I can pull up the port view. I can see if I've got things connected. I can see if I've got double-ended connections or single-ended connections as well. What's a double-ended connection versus a single-ended connection? It sounds like new terminology to me. I've never heard of that. Great question. A double-ended connection is when we're going from intelligent patch panel to intelligent patch panel. A single-ended connection is either a cable that's been left dangling, and sometimes we know that happens, or it's actually a connection that's going from the intelligent patch panel to a non-intelligent device. Could be a switch, could be a router, could be a server. All right, and so once I click into the interface and I can figure out what's going on in my whole physical layer infrastructure, what about... Uh, getting even further into it and mapping physical IP addresses in there. Can I do that through the software interface as well? You can actually do that. We can partition groups of panels, groups of ports. We can make logical partitions. Let's say I want these group of ports to be for my engineering department. I want this group of ports to be for my marketing department. My marketing department, I have one IT manager that's responsible for these. My engineering department, I have another one responsible for these. Right? These guys don't want to get interrupted when the other people's uh, systems go online and they have questions. Or for the help desk, I can partition these logically or physically. Whenever I see something really cool like this, my first question is, well, 
all right, you just talked about double and single-ended connections. What if I connect this into somebody else's intelligent patch panel, if such a thing exists, or if it doesn't, is this one of those areas where we need a standard so that other manufacturers can provide such panels? Well, here's the great idea. The, the thing is, is that because these are all modular, uh, the system is based on standards. So I can put in modular jacks for Cat5, Cat6, 10 gig, uh, fiber even. Uh, all of the intelligence is actually built into the panel. So there isn't a proprietary system here going on. And because all of the logical information communicates via standard SNMP and TCP IP, it is all standard already. It's already published in the, in the uh, IEEE. I think what I was referring to is like if you press some buttons here, you can trace a route of a cable to another panel that belongs to you or that came from you, but what about if I get another panel that comes from another company? D does that same functionality work? Well, some functionality will work on that system maybe a little bit differently, but we have an API that we publish, and that API will allow anyone to basically integrate with these systems. Is the API freely licensable, or do you have to pay to use it? Uh, it will be. It will be licensable, yeah. Uh, when I say licensable, freely licensable, or do you have to pay? That is to be determined. To be determined. All right. Well, Mike Pula, congratulations on being honored as a finalist here at the Best of Interop Awards, and good luck to you. And thank you very much. I appreciate it. According to Pula, the cost of the system, the ports, maybe 96 ports with the software, is going to run you somewhere around four to $5,000, which isn't so bad for that kind of intelligence at the patch panel level. I know I've had to manage some of these rat's nests myself. From the Interop show floor in Las Vegas, I'm David Berlin for TechWeb TV.